Here's the first and ten. They put an extra tight end in, and they'll run Autry straight ahead into the big hole. Breaks free. 40, 35, 30, and a late face mask penalty thrown at the 27-yard line from the right hash. Tough angle. But he got it. And if you start him outside on that injured ankle, it's hard for him to get leverage and come back inside. So Northwestern has scouted that injury pretty well. And Schultz is back, goes middle deep now. It was it taken away and intercepted? Yes. That was Josh Barnes who went up. It appeared as though they had almost both caught the ball at the same time. First down and 10 after the interception. Ball at the Northwestern 31-yard line. Play fake, Hughes fires complete to J-10, the tight end. And he is out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Third and 22 for Northwestern. And Hughes forced to the left on the run. He's got to throw back against his body. Tough throw makes it to the 25. If they spot it, it'll, no, they will not give it to him. It is short of the first down. That's a 20-yard gain. And let's see what the Wildcats elect to do here with the ball at the 26-yard line. Adrian Autry has returned as the tailback. The freshman Marshall is out. You would expect Adrian to get the call behind Hartle. They're going to play fake it. Hughes is going to throw for it. The middle's open. They've got it. Touchdown. A great play call by the Wildcats. And Waterman walks in from 26 yards out. Gary Barnett's staff comes up with a, what a lot of fans and coaches want to do, but few coaches dare to do. The Cornhuskers have been waiting for that opening, and Minnesota gave it to them. The fullback. Great surprise play, Lavelle Brown, the ball carrier, out of bounds at the 21, 14-yard game. We've got third down and four. This is two down territory for Barnett's staff, leading by two. Against a pressing defense, Autry to the middle with a huge hole, going to break free, touchdown. Oh, what an effort by Adrian Autry. Here's Goins. A 48-yard attempt. Just made it. Just cleared the crossbar. It's been zone coverage all day long. Too deep for the Wildcats. Toss play, Urban. Daylight. Midfield. Fumble! Northwestern recovers. Northwestern recovers. At the 47 yard line. And Bill Burke, a backup quarterback, is the holder. So this game is in their hands. Gardner ready. Put down, blocked. It's blocked. Northwestern blocks it. The field goal is blocked. The Wildcats are winning. There's five seconds left. All they have to do is kneel down. Nineteen seventeen. Northwestern upsets Michigan State. Nick Saban, who lived by special teams excellence all game, finally loses out to a blocked field goal. One more look as Jones and Conaway go high on the left side, and Gardner's field goal is blocked.